Hi guys, hope you are well and welcome to this week's Crypto Chiefs YouTube video where we are going to take a look at RSR. Before we begin the video, please, as always, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in the comment section below, I'm going to pin two links, one to our free Telegram group where you can receive daily market updates and analysis and a link to our website where you can check out all of the results from our premium signals group too. So looking here at RSR, and before we begin, I'm actually gonna ignore all the zeros because there's so many of them. So we're just gonna talk in whole numbers. Um, and we can see that over the last couple of days, as we're looking at the daily chart here, we've shown a great level of strength and finally broken from the range um, which we've been trading in since the FTX crash. Um, just this sort of period of consolidation finally broke from it. Um, for full transparency, I did purchase some of this in January around the 3600 level. And personally, um, although it's had a nice move from there, I've not sold yet. I'm actually looking to hold this for a longer term now. Um, but if you are looking to take a position, then the first area of interest would be a back test of the old range highs here. So around the 4,800 level, it's not yet seen a retest since the breakout on the daily. So that would be an, an area of interest to look at. In terms of where it can go from here, um, assuming the market holds and, and we continue and move up. Um, first of all, I'm gonna draw the volume profile for the previous year. So 2022, um, right the way up there to the end of the year. And for those that don't know, the volume profile, we're looking at 70% of the traded volume last year. Um, and we can look at the, the value area high, the top line, the value area low, the bottom line, and the red line, which is the point of control. And we can see here that um, the value area low has just been uh, broken from. That is the um, range highs from November. So we're now looking for a move towards the point of control, which is likely to be the next level of resistance around 6, 600 level there, which we can see is also a previous area um, which the price has interacted with. So um, that is our sort of next target from here, from 5, 400 to 6, 600. Um, and if we zoom in a little bit there too, we can see that from this high wick here um, to run it through that wick there, this is likely to interact, so likely to to meet together that this um, this trend line, down trend line resistance will interact with the point of control here. So it's another confluence to to a key level of resistance. If we can flip the sort of 7,000 level, um, we can start to look for a move towards the value area higher, which is at the uh, 10,000 level here, which is a key resistance level throughout the second half of last year too. Um, so, and then beyond that, we would be looking to target this wick up at around 13,500 there. So, um, as I said, I'm holding this personally for the long term. Um, if you are looking to take a position and not yet holding, 4,800 is a strong level uh, that we'd like to see hold. Um, from here, targeting 6,600 and a flip of that to then target towards 10,000 there. They would be the next two areas of um, interest for resistance. And I am likely to, um, to be honest, I will, as I said, I haven't sold any yet, but around the 7,000 mark, I will probably look to sell some of my position, um, which would give me near enough 100% um, return in spot from, from where I entered. Hope you found this video useful guys and in the comment section below, uh, feel free to leave the name of any coin you would like us to take a look at next week and I will see you on the next one.